Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Leah and this is 10 Random Things About Me. So I've seen this tag going around on YouTube for a while. Most recently, um, a channel that I absolutely love, Karen Harris, did it. So I thought, what a great time to copy her and do the same. I will actually link her channel in the description box below. All right, let's get into just random Lee effects. The first one is that I have to brush my teeth whenever I get out of the shower. It doesn't matter if I haven't brushed my teeth yet or if I brush my teeth five times that day. If I take a shower, the second I get out, I have to brush my teeth. I don't know why. I think it's because when you're in the shower, you get a little bit dehydrated, so my mouth just feels funny, but I'm always just in a towel with my hair up in my t-shirt, brushing my teeth as soon as I get out of the shower. Number two is I have kids, but I didn't want kids growing up. Uh, as a teenager and growing up, like even from a little kid, I never saw myself as a mother. Like in play, I didn't have baby dolls that I mothered. All through high school, I said I wasn't going to have kids. In college, I said I wasn't going to have kids and I just wanted to be married and just that was pretty much it. Or if I was going to be single forever, that would also be fine. Um, but right about 25, 26, I was single and I wasn't dating anyone, but it hit me. And I don't know if that's what they call your biological clock or what but I was just like oh yep yeah, there it is now I want to have kids <laughs> and I didn't actually have my kid until about 10 years later I was 35 when he was born and I met my husband when I was 30 so uh, I was actually technically considered a geriatric pregnancy even though I don't feel like I was old at all <laughs> Number three is I am obsessed with Oreos. Like not to the point where I'm gonna go to the Oreo, well, I would go to the Oreo museum, that's a lie. But every new flavor that comes out, I absolutely have to try. And one of my favorite parts of the year is Christmas time when the white chocolate dipped Oreos come out. I know they have them now in the little mini sizes, but it's not the same as the winter release of the white chocolate Oreos. That's how I know Christmas season is here is when I can get those. Number four is I hate scary movies, hate them. Yes, I have a YouTube channel where I talk about true crime once a week. I love true crime. I love watching, you know, ID and Oxygen and, you know, the wife did it kind of stories, but scary movies do not do it for me. If it's ghost related, fuck no. Um, jump scares, I hate them. Like slashers jumping out of the woods. I, I don't like that stuff. I would rather watch a suspenseful movie where they weave an intricate story and you get into the backstory of, you know, the killer than anything where something's jumping out at you or ghosts are haunting your house. No, thank you. Number five, I'm a huge introvert. I think this comes as a surprise to a lot of people, but once you get to know me, it does make a lot of sense. My uh, Myers-Briggs type is I'm an INFP, which is the dreamer, and that basically means it's like one step above the hermit. <laughs> I love to spend time at my home. I like to be alone. I like to read. I like to watch movies. I like to create and do crafts. Um, I love YouTube, but, but being like face to face with people is so outside of my comfort zone that it's no thank you. I always say that if I could live in a house in the middle of nowhere and not have to talk to anybody except my husband and my son, I would be completely fine with that. So yeah, I do. I spend a ton of time at home and I am that person who does not commit to social engagements because I just get super uncomfortable. Um, I would rather if you're my friend just like go out and have a cup of coffee and chat than go to a party where I have to make small talk, um, which is probably why I drank way too much alcohol in my younger days because it helped me feel comfortable in social situations. And number six, speaking of alcohol, I absolutely love beer. I love it. I don't drink much anymore, um, but I actually used to work for a brewery and I loved it. It was It's my all-time favorite job. If I could still be working there, I definitely would. I had the best coworkers. It was just such a cool, um, fun atmosphere to be in. I loved it. Um, I actually even brewed my own beer for a while. We got out of that because when we moved from San Diego to Fargo, it just wasn't feasible for us to bring all my brewing equipment along, so I sold it, and I don't do that anymore, although I loved it. That was one of my most favorite hobbies for sure. All right, number seven. This is kind of a weird one considering where I live, but I would much rather be cold than hot, but I hate living in the cold. 
yeah I, I don't know either like it's when you're cold you can always you know cozy up put on a blanket put on a sweater but if you're hot you can only take off all of your clothes from there on you're just hot and sweaty and naked um and honestly is there anything better than like snuggling up under a blanket and watching a movie or reading a book and having like a nice cup of tea I don't think so it's the best thing in the world but I like to keep my house pretty cool um but I hate living in the snow it's just snow is such a pain in the butt and when you go outside it's so terrible and awful I like to be in a cool home where it's like at night I can have my big thick blanket on um but yeah I don't like snow and living in the snow I'm not a snowy outdoors person I don't ski I don't snowmobile I don't do any of that so yeah that's kind of a weird random thing about me Number eight is, I think water can fix everything. <laughs> if you've got an ailment, drink more water. Your stomach hurts, drink some water. Have a headache, you're probably dehydrated, drink some water. You can't poop, drink some water. You broke a bone, drink some water. Um, not quite to that extent, but my husband and I both have these huge things that we, um, I actually bought one for, or two for him because he wasn't drinking enough water and he only will drink it if it's ice, ice cold. So we got these insulated tumblers that, keep stuff cold for like 24 hours and we both drink like six of those a day so we're very well hydrated in this house number nine i am a savory person over sweet i have never had a sweet tooth um i've always opted for you know salty treats if i was going to be offered either a dessert or like chips i would choose chips every single day um that did change for a little while though after i had my son because it threw off um my serotonin levels so my anxiety <laughs> went crazy and um I guess one of the things about that is that you start craving sweets um, because it changes like the serotonin response in your brain and the it's it's like the weirdest thing and then as soon as I um, got on my anxiety medication it went away I stopped craving sweets and I'm back to like who I was before my brain chemistry went completely crazy and that also bleeds into how I act in the kitchen I don't like baking because I really don't care for sweets and baking is so fussy and finicky that I no thank you I will cook and I can like take a bunch of random things and throw it in a pot and you'll have a really good meal but if I have to measure things with a spoon that's this big hard pass I love watching the Great British Baking Show that love it it's amazing they're wizards but for me no thank you i'm not the person to come to if you want me to make you sweet treats and number 10 i am an iced coffee fanatic i drink iced coffee that's actually what's in here i know i said water earlier this is used for water but this right now is it's an iced coffee um ever since i think the first time i actually drank real coffee was at a new coffee shop in fargo and i was 14 when it opened and the first time my lips tasted an iced latte i was in love forever um even in winter i don't drink hot coffee i will drink it iced when i go to starbucks in the winter time i'll ask for like an iced peppermint mocha and i get a lot of weird looks because they don't do a lot of ice drinks in this winter time um but it's but i prefer and how i prefer to drink it i always have and i probably always will and then that leads to i cold brew my coffee every once in a while when i feel like getting all my cold brew stuff out it's not difficult it's just messy but whoo you can get a lot of stuff done when you're drinking a bunch of homemade cold brew let tell you that so that is 10 random facts about me if you like this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you do a video like this I challenge everyone to it's really fun to kind of think about the random things that people don't know about you um, but if you do tag me and let me know that you did it because I want to watch all of your 10 random things too all right have a super great rest of your day and we'll see you in the next video bye 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 bye